look at E.L. James or someone like that. And hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hey guys, it's Lexi. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys welcome to my channel. Today is a good day. I have a book out there. Those of you who didn't know, guess you don't know. <laughs> we are home! Woo -woo! Even my day kind of went sideways. And if you're back, welcome back. They're either so cheesy or so inappropriate. <laughs> Delicious! They got the boom jug. Which direction do you go? We are just stirring some pork chops. I want to um, also use my voice to raise awareness. We are good to shelter in place. Where's the camera? Here. <laughs> <laughs> a hack that I do. Hi! <laughs> but it was so, so fun. Oh, look who stole my yoga mat! It's, it's that time! <laughs> <I'm good back. laughs> Again, that was Lexi Miles, uh, romance author. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have a fun one for you. Today I am going to be talking about what authors can do with their reviews, how they should be using them, and stuff like that. Um, I have a lot of tips there, so get ready. It's going to be fun. However, if you are new here, welcome. If you're back, welcome back. I love hanging out with you guys. Today is definitely an author video, so hang out if you want to know that. However, you know, if you ever have dealt with a troll or someone who might not just be the nicest person, um, around you or whatever, this can still help you because a lot of this information does apply. All right guys, so if you are ready, let's get into this video. All right guys, I have a couple tips and a couple things to talk about, but first, the trolls situation and the bad review people and the whole bunch of people who always are trying to get online and do certain things and talk to you and stuff, that stuff is real, all right? So <laughs> that has happened, that does happen, and here's the thing. You can't fall into it, you can't be, you take them too serious. There's somebody who's over there just mm -hmm, there. I put something. Why does that matter more than what you're thinking or what anybody positive in your life is sitting there thinking? Or let's say uh, your audience. Those are your tribe, those are people you focus on from Tiger. So focus on the positive people. <laughs> okay, I think I got it out. <laughs> All right, so now that I've said that, how do you deal with someone saying something crazy to you, whatever? First, your space is your space. You deserve to keep it as your space. So if someone is making you feel uncomfortable or they are just, you know, just whatever, just here's the thing. You can either block them or you can just basically, you know, the good old fashioned ignore them. I know on Facebook, you have that opportunity to mute that person or whatever for a while or something like that. So take advantage of it. Look into the security thing, the privacy things, and say, hmm, if I wanna do something like this, what do they have available on different apps? So there you go. All right, so another way to deal with reviews is to also look up your favorite author. So whatever your favorite author is, um, I'm just gonna use an example of an author. They're not particularly just my absolute favorite, but I do enjoy their books. Um, look at look at E.L. James or someone like that. And some people don't like her stuff. Some people don't like Twilight. Some people don't whatever. If you look, you're always gonna find somebody who might put a, uh, some shady stars on someone's stuff. But the point is, does that matter to you as a reader? No. So if someone says something crazy about your stuff, that shouldn't matter to you either because honestly, your opinion, yours, you hold it, so do the people who really love your stuff. So there you go. It's just like a review or something that someone has said and dropped on one of your things. Here's the thing, someone took time out, they read your book. If they didn't like it, then they're not your audience. And that's just the truth of it. They just aren't. Doesn't mean that your book's bad, doesn't mean that it's whatever, they're just not your audience. So it's okay, it might not be for everybody, however, you can love your book doubly e so that it, it, you know whatever you get my point <laughs> all right so another way to also deal with reviews is to read them once <laughs> read them once if you must read them read them once because if they're good if they're bad you fall into it it is such an endless trap you could fall in there and go oh i'm a really good writer or something like that you don't want to do that or um if you get like a bad review um eh, you know, it is what it is, and sometimes I can get heady and you can fall into that as well. Try not to do that. Instead, w read it once, say, okay, this is feedback, whatever you can take from it, and go, oh, you know, they really like this character, or um, someone wanted to hear uh, about this, or whatever, great. But do not let it shift everything. Remember, you're writing the book. Take the information, go, great. But then after that, it's none of your business, and walk away. <laughs> um, with your reviews, 
be sure if you are an author, get on to Goodreads because you can actually review your own book. I don't mean put stars on it or anything like that, but talk about why you like it. Talk about what what you are hoping readers get from it and everything else. Review your own book. That is an opportunity a lot of people do not take advantage of. I need to even do that more often, but definitely do that because that's your voice. You're the author and people go, whoo, you're like the ultimate authority on your book. And if you point out something, they go, oh, I might not have, oh, oh my, oh, that's so good. And you're pointing out the things like a tour guide of a, um, of like, let's say you went to the Louvre or you went to the, um, the Eiffel Tower or the Golden Gate Bridge or whatever, and you're like, by the way, the history of this is da da da, and people are so busy looking at that, they go, oh my god, and they really can actually cherish the book like you do. So give them your vision of the book. Make sure you do that, that's so important. Another thing that you might want to be doing as an author for reviews is, is to create an ARC reader team. People who like your book, who can review them immediately, you can send them advanced copy, advanced reader copy, that is what an ARC group is. They receive advanced reader copies and they can already drop reviews. Like the first day you can say, hey guys, I need to have this review out by this time, da da da, and they will drop a review for you. And then people already have other great voices too, shouting how bomb your books are. <laughs> if you're like, what, how do I even get one of those started? I will go and I will do another video about that. But the point is, make sure that you do have a group like that and it will definitely all right guys, so what I was gonna say is another thing you must not do as an author about reviews. Do not argue with people. Do not go, why do you think my book looks like that? No, 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 do not do that. Please don't do that. Just don't do it. It does feel good though when your readers go, hey, I love that. Why were you saying that? Let other people do it. Don't get involved with it yourself. One, it makes you look unprofessional. Two, why are you arguing with people? They have a right to feel like they want to fill and Three, again, why would you do It just makes you look bad as an author. Like you don't want to sit there and be arguing with people and going, oh, whatever, just don't do that. All right guys, so another thing that you do not want to do either, if someone is sitting there, please look. Like, yes, it's awesome to get a review, but don't star the bad ones. Don't favor the bad ones. Like if you're on Goodreads, don't favor the bad ones. Don't point out the bad ones. Don't do anything with the bad ones. Let's let the bad ones be there and let them just fade off, okay? So that's the other thing. Do not highlight the bad ones in any way because that's not what you want. Highlight the people who are your tribe, who are your audience, who love your book. Say, oh my goodness, I really appreciate you taking time out. Talk to them, spend time with them because that's where you need to spend your time anyway because that is your audience. Those are the people who love your stuff, will stick around, read anything that you have. Those are your people and I love my people, they're awesome. All right guys, so that's the point. Definitely do that. All right, now I have a confession that I need to make after saying all this about reviews. I am somebody, if I like a book, like I look at a cover and I go, I like this, or I read the synopsis on it, I am not gonna look at reviews. So some people don't look at reviews. So don't trip about it. Don't put so much weight on it because I read a bunch of romance books, but I have no idea what people think about them or they like them, they don't like them. I don't care, it doesn't affect my opinion because I like them. If I like them, I'm gonna like them. I'm gonna write a review, I'm gonna say I love this book, you should check it out or something because I know that if I can have somebody go check out a book that's really amazing, I'm going to do it. I'm going to say it. As an author, I understand reviews do help people. At the same time, everybody doesn't look at reviews. So there it is. I know that it's out there. It's like, everybody reads reviews. I am an avid reader. I read a ton of romance, but I make it my mission not to read a book. Not to read a book. Sorry, you guys. I got interrupted. Anyway, but like I was saying, um, I make it my, I try to not, 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 not look at reviews because I do not want to know what someone wants. It's for me, it's a spoiler. I don't want to hear somebody say, oh, da, 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 I like it, whatever, because no matter what, it's going to be in your head. So I don't look at reviews. I always look at reviews after I read it. Maybe that's when I'll look at a review, but you get my point. 
All right, guys, and that's my video. I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I will come back and I will tell you how to do a professional review as an author or someone who might want to do a review for somebody. I will share you, with you how to do that. But today, I'm just I was just talking to you about reviews and in general and some yes and do some don'ts or whatever. Anyways, guys, that is it. That's what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and I also appreciate you. If you haven't yet, please become a heart baby, a part of my heart baby family. I would love that. And um, yeah, <laughs> so that is it. I'll be back with more of these and a whole bunch of other videos. I, oh my goodness, you guys, I have been like totally writing down different ideas and stuff I wanna share with you. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna share it soon. So anyways, thanks for watching. See you soon. Focus on the positive people. <laughs> okay, I think I got it out. <laughs> Not to read a book. Not to read a book. Sorry, you guys, I gotta interrupt this. So I like, came in there like, hmm. I gotta notice what I'm like, what? Anyway, but like I was saying, one, two, one thing you should not do is read a book.